Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's uh, Paper Creations and I have a new mini album to share with you and uh, this is made with um, this beautiful debutante uh, paper from uh, Prima and uh, here I used uh, the A4 and uh, I used um, the 6x6 and 4x6 and I also used a lot of embellishments uh, to go with this paper line and I really love these frames and these uh, dresses here, Victorian or Baroque shapes. So yeah, and also if you see I didn't uh, get the 12 by 12 paper and I ran a bit into trouble here because uh, this is not uh, wide enough so I had to paper piece uh, some of the papers together but uh, we <laughs> I will show you as we go here. So and the, the shape here is uh, made, uh, maybe show you here. Uh, of uh, this shape here and I have a tutorial on how to make uh, these uh, shapes here so and uh, it measure uh, ten and a half by seven and a half so for the cover here I use some acetate inside and this is a thick uh, acetate and this I got from Accucut uh, Crafts it's really great to use for uh, covers and so so and uh, for the frame here I uh, torn uh, paper and uh, pie uh, paper piece them together, glued them on with a multimedium mat and then I took uh, some cheesecloth over and then I painted a bit of white over and I also used, can show you here, I get a lot of questions of this uh, pan pastel over it's really great to soften off up uh, papers so I use that a lot and uh, yeah, here are some uh, shipboard that I glued on and here and uh, here is a resin frame also from uh, Prima and I use some cheesecloth under here and also these uh, flowers are from uh, the paper line Prima so I can maybe give you a close up here here I use some uh, fine sand mixed together with uh, white paint and the multi mat so just to distress them a bit up and a little bird here sitting here so yeah and some pearls here so also some more flowers here and here I used the punch from Nelly Snell and also on the top here for these uh, leaves uh, the paper line comes with uh, some leaves so I used them also but I needed some more and uh, this is a really great uh, punch from Nelly Snell so then we can flip it over and see if I can get it in frame here so sorry for some of the glare here so on the back side I used, um, uh, this is a paper from Basil, a green paper, so I just distressed it up and uh, also all around the paper, um, paper, uh, pages I've uh, gone with a uh, scissor and just distressed it up a bit. So and some more flowers and uh, to cover up these uh, flowers here so the back side wouldn't show up I made a little pocket here. So and told some tags from the paper line inside here, and this one. And uh, yeah, and this uh, punch here is from Marta Stewart. So yeah, and some more shipboard cutouts here. So then for the first uh, page uh, here, so here I had to paper piece. It wasn't wide enough, so I made a pocket on uh, the side here. So and uh, here on the packaging, uh, when you get the flowers and tags and so, I used the back side of the packaging here to make some tags. So and also this uh, shape here is uh, these shapes here. So that's in the same uh, tutorial as the frame. So show how you can make some different tag shapes. So just uh, um, look below the video. There you will find some more information. Just click uh, show more. So then you will find the link to my blog and also to. Uh, to uh, the tutorial <laughs> for uh, the tags and frame shape so yeah and I uh, really love these hangers also so I use them on top of some tags and here is uh, the pocket so here is uh, another one of these uh, tag shapes and I also went around some of them uh, with some green ink and some pink ink from um, Tim Holtz and Distress Ink and this butterfly punch is from uh, Marta Stewart so and this is from the six by four sheets and also butterfly from Mart Martha Stewart here so yeah and some more flowers here and uh, 
chipboard. So here I just used the outside the frame. So then we can flip this over. Let's see if I can get it in frame here. So so here is a resin also from T Prima and also this wall here. And um, here I used some uh, masking uh, with uh, some molding uh, paste. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't know where this uh, script uh, mask is uh, from or stencil. So, but uh, I also used a lot from Tim Holtz stencils. So here I have a resin uh, flower from the paper line or from the, <laughs> this uh, collection. And uh, some seam binding bow here and uh, yeah. And uh, this is just loose, so it can be taken off and a tag here. And when you get the A4 paper pad, some of them are uh, not long enough, the frames, so then I just paper piece the dress on the side. Really love these uh, dresses. So, yeah, and another tag here. And another masking here, stencil molding paste. So, yeah, I can take them in later. Some more flowers and yeah. So uh, the receiver can take this out and uh, place a picture inside here. So on uh, this side um, I have a, um, a shaker uh, pocket here and some sequins inside and this uh, frame shape here. I got the idea from uh, my friend uh, Kirsten here in Norway and uh, she has uh, a lot of uh, um, good ideas both for uh, mini albums and also 3D projects so I will link uh, to her channel below and uh, two more tags here so same shape that I created with some hangers and a pocket here and a Martha Stewart uh, punch here again some flowers and cheese cloth and uh, this uh, resin is also from Prima this I popped up and, some, and uh, this uh, bird here is really beautiful, the dove with some uh, pink flowers and green leaves I just painted over a bit with uh, white and uh, this you can find at uh, Miss Garden Grow Annie's uh, Etsy shop she has a lot of beautiful laces and embellishments there so I will link the, to that below also some more flowers here and these are the leaves from the collection and a clock here. So, yeah. And uh, for the next uh, page, or the back side of this page here, here I used uh, the frame uh, around here. I'm not sure it shows proper up here. So, but here I did a lot of uh, mixed media techniques. I um, uh, mixed uh, some sand with uh, molding paste. It's a very fine sand. You, you use it for. Uh, I'm not sure the English word, but sand blowing. <laughs> so yeah, and I just took it random on, and uh, then I took some other. Uh, I'm not sure the word of this. Uh, maybe give you a close up here. I think it's a glass beads. It's called that. I also mixed with uh, some uh, multi medium mat to take over. And, uh, this uh, dye here, flourish dye, is from Sherry Lynn. Here is a frame that can be put in a picture and also a tag behind. This uh, die is also from Sherry Lynn and this uh, tag shape is from um, Acucut Craft. Really love this shape here. It's, uh, it's uh, three um, different uh, sizes in one uh, die. So use it a lot. And then some more shipboard that I popped up and uh, little doves here and uh, here I have an acetate pocket with uh, some cheese cloth uh, on top and uh, cut out this book and some flowers and uh, there's a little envelope that's uh, from a Sissix. It's a Sissix uh, die so I don't think I have anything in it. So it's just text behind here. And I can maybe also tell you the binding here is uh, the seam binding and I use some eyelets on the end here to uh, uh, tie it together. So then the next page here is a um, pocket on the side and here I have uh, another envelope, Sissix style that also. So and uh, here you can put a picture on. 
and the Sherry Lynn die here. Some more flowers and the bird, bird bath is also um, resin from uh, Prima and I painted, uh, I mixed a bit of um, distra uh, pink distressic with uh, white paint and just brushed it over. So, yeah. And uh, here is a frame inside and this is a dye from Tim Holtz, some cheesecloth here and the resin here. The same shape of the dye here. And here it says uh, party time. So, that's from the shipboard. And this is from the 6x4 paper. So, and here I used the script again and I inked a bit over with uh, some uh, green and also some, uh, some uh, pink. And some flowers and a fussy cut and a uh, resin piece here. And uh, this are also Martha Stewart uh, punch, these butterflies. So then for the next uh, page here. So Now I see it uh, looks more pink in the camera than it did. It is uh, sorry for the lighting here, <laughs> but yeah, we, you will find some close-up uh, pictures on my blog. It's not so pink that it shows up. So here I used uh, the inside frame when I cut out this frame here. I used the inside here that I cut out to create a sort of uh, flip up. So I uh, made some hinges here, and this is a die from uh, La La Land. And I glued on some cheesecloth and um, went over a bit with a, a white uh, paint dabber. And I also have a pearl pen that I took where the brads are supposed to go. So, and a frame here, you can put in a picture. And this uh, little bird here is also from Miss Garden Grove's uh, Etsy shop. So it was pink, but I mm, took a bit of uh, white paint over some leaves and flowers from the paper line and some crystals here. So this uh, flower here uh, uh, works as a closure for this one. So just lift it up a bit. So see if I can get it in frame. So and then you see the hinges on the back side here and here I used the Tivec envelope so I'm sure it will stick together. So some pearl pen and some resin or uh, flowers. I think it's resin from the paper line. A photo mat here, so this is open, so I can stack a photo behind here. And uh, this, um, I think it's uh, from the Christmas uh, collection from Tim Holtz, uh, Dice, uh, Victorian something it's called. So yeah, and I just stack in some tags and photo mats here. It can also be placed a big photo here if the receiver likes to. And uh, this gold uh, glitter is some glass uh, beads, some glass glitter from uh, Prima. So then it closes up with lifting the flower a bit. And maybe you can see here it's some masking here again. And I think it was a uh, Tim Holtz uh, mask here. So not sure it shows up. And uh, here I have an acetate uh, page. So this is just, um, I'm not sure where the word it's, uh, you can copy on it and uh, um, yeah, it's a bit uh, thinner acetate. So here I used uh, the stamps from uh, the paper line. It's not sure it shows up here. Yeah, and I tried uh, several different inks and I couldn't uh, get it to stay on. So the last one I tried was a Stason and that uh, works. It's uh, the other one smeared out and I could just take it off. So yeah. And I also went around with a black marker here and uh, painted it white and then I went over with some uh, Distress uh, ink. Pink Distress ink. So. And then for the last uh, cover page here. Back cover. I have this uh, dress form, also a die from Tim Holtz, and I pleated some paper here so to make this uh, skirt and a uh, die from Sherry Lynn again. And this I also went over with some uh, uh, white uh, paint dabber and then uh, mixed it up with uh, um, pink distress ink. So yeah. And uh, there's an envelope here, and she also carries a little uh, bag here. It was from the shipboard cutouts. So nothing in it. A little tag behind here. 
the stacks like so, like she's carrying the bag. So and I also have some uh, tags stuck in. So here you can see the paper wasn't uh, wide enough, so I glued on two strips and then I made a sort of belly band in the middle with the same shape here. So yeah, and these tags are also from uh, Acucut uh, Craft. It's a bit smaller on the same uh, die where there are three dies or three cutouts and there are two more uh, tags inside here so I left the frames uh, open here so you can stack the photo inside here so and uh, it was open here so I just glued on these beautiful dresses and this hanger or clothes uh, pin from the uh, shipboard cutouts and a shoe from the shipboard cutout and uh, yeah here it's a celebration and here I did some masking again and also this is from uh, resin from Prima and I used the gla same glass uh, glitter here so then for the back set so here I made a tag for uh, to the receiver so I can maybe take that off and show you a bit more here so I just uh, made it open uh, on the side here so it can slide over this uh, belly band here so here I can write a personal note maybe take this out of the way a bit uh, more easy to see maybe so and also on the front here so this is uh, the same die shape and here is uh, the feather it came with a shipboard I think it was and this I painted over with uh, white so, and some uh, tags inside here, so I can write some notes here also. So I really love this uh, dress form and this duel is uh, so beautiful. And here it says, so lovely, as always, and a Sherry Lynn die here. So these are really fun to make. And I also have a tutorial how you can decorate with this uh, dimensional here, so I have a link to that below as well. So it creates a pocket here. So then I can show you the rest of the back side. So here I just torn paper again and started on the top and uh, glued strips down like so. And I uh, can maybe show you on the top here. So here I have some larger tags. So this is the same shape again with a cherry lin die. It's a flourish here. And uh, this is also from um, uh, the back side where uh, the tags and the flowers and so came in the package. So I used it here as a long tag. And uh, yeah, some more in a 6x4 paper line. And a frame here that I paper pieced together. So I can put in a photo here. Also a frame here. And yeah. Um, this I just made to match up on the side here, so tucks in here, it's not so much a room here. So uh, this uh, was uh, my album and I hope it's a bit inspiring. So I had a really fun time uh, making it. It uh, was a bit of a challenge for me. It's uh, another type of album to create than Graphic 45, but it was really fun. So uh, yeah. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please look below the video. There you will find the link to my blog where I answer them. So take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye bye.